asks, is this property a good deal? Since joining Polisi Property, I've learned that spotting a good deal isn't just about the price tag. It's a skill. And today, I'm gonna share it with you. I've just come across a listing that caught my eye. A 1969 house, one kilometer from the beach, currently pulling in $530 a week in rent. Sounds tempting, doesn't it? But is it actually worth your investment? I'm Jade, and in my time at Polisi Property, I've picked up the exact process our experts use to separate the golden opportunities from the money pits. In the next few minutes, you'll see firsthand how we break down a property's true value beyond just the listing price, the hidden factors that can turn an average property into a great investment, and why personal circumstances play an integral role in determining a good deal. Ready to find out if this listing is the deal it appears to be? Let's go. First, let's look at the basics. This is a house built in 1969 on a 675 square meter block. It's currently tenanted at $530 per week with a market rental appraisal of $550 to $570 per week. Now, let's look at some of the numbers from the cash flow calculator. We're going to assume that you're paying a 20% deposit and have taken out a loan for the other 80% at an interest rate of 6.5%. Your annual income is made of the rent, which totals to $27,560. You then have the depreciation benefit of $1,000 plus the estimated annual capital gains of $39,600 based on a 6% growth rate. On the expenses side, you have the interest on the loan, which is $34,320 a year, and the estimated property management fees at 7% of the rental rate, which totals to $1,929. I've also accounted for insurance and rates at around $3,500. If you run the numbers, you'll be running at a cash loss of $11,189. At first glance, you might be concerned about the cash loss. However, this property is actually a prime example of negative gearing, which can be a powerful investment strategy. You can also see here that your total return, including capital gains, is $28,410.80. So off the bat, this is a pretty decent investment. There are, of course, different variables that will impact this cash flow calculation. You can see here that the different LVR and interest rates impact the numbers. This is also at the current rental rate. If you run the numbers again with the market rent of $560 a week, your gross yield changes from 4.18% to 4.41%. And if you charge $570 a week, plus manage to secure your loan at a 4.5% interest rate, you see here you'll actually get a cash return of $1,880. So all of these factors will ultimately impact if it's a good investment for you. But there are actually quite a few more things we look at as a part of the due diligence process to make sure it stays a good investment and doesn't become a money pit. For starters, the location of this property is a significant factor in its investment potential. Let's break down why. Proximity to the beach. At just one kilometer from the shoreline, this property offers a highly desirable coastal lifestyle. Beach proximity is a timeless attraction for both renters and buyers, which can help maintain a strong rental demand and support long-term capital growth. Distance to Adelaide CBD. While 35 kilometers might seem far, it's within a reasonable commuting distance to the city center. This balance of coastal living and city accessibility broadens your potential tenant and buyer pool, appealing to both beach lovers and city workers. Seaford's capital growth potential. As part of Adelaide's southern suburbs, Seaford has been experiencing steady growth. The area has seen infrastructure improvements and population growth, which often correlates with increasing property values. In terms of some supply and demand statistics, the current vacancy rate is an incredibly low 0.38%, indicating high demand for housing in the area. Renters make up 30.24% of the population, suggesting a healthy mix of owner occupiers and tenants. The median property value is $692,000, up 12.7% over the past 12 months. Even more impressively, the median value has surged by 86.3% over the last five years. The median asking rent is $550 a week, which is well above our subject property's current rental income. An average tenure period of 9.9 years indicates a stable community with long-term residents. All of these statistics paint a very positive picture. The extremely low vacancy rate suggests strong rental demand, 
which can help ensure consistent rental income. The significant growth in property values over both the short term and the long term indicates a thriving market with potential for capital appreciation. The healthy proportion of renters in the population combined with rising rents suggests ongoing demand for rental properties. Seaford also offers a range of amenities, including shopping centers, schools, and public transport options. These conveniences make the area attractive to families and long-term residents, potentially reducing vacancy rates. The combination of beach access, suburban comfort, and city proximity creates an increasingly sought-after lifestyle package especially in the wake of remote work trends. And with South Australia's economy performing well and ongoing investment in infrastructure, the southern coastal regions like Seaford are likely to benefit from continued growth and development. The gross state product increased by 5.1% in 2021 to 22. And as part of the 10 year infrastructure pipeline, the South Australian government has committed to an additional 2.9% billion dollars towards infrastructure projects. You can see some of the projects here. These location factors contribute significantly to the property's investment potential. They suggest not only the possibility of steady rental income, but also promising capital growth over time. The lifestyle appeal of the area could lead to increased demand, potentially pushing up both rental yields and property values in the future. Remember, in property investment, location is often considered the most crucial factor because while you can change a property's features, you can't change its location. Having said that though, this property also has some development potential. The property has a 22.8 metre frontage with no easements, which could mean development potential subject to council approval. There's also potential for a granny flat, which could significantly boost your rental income. Another thing we look at as part of our analysis is the risk assessment of the property. The good news with this property is that it's in neither a flood nor a bushfire zone. This reduces your insurance costs and the potential for disaster related damages. So is this a good deal? Based on all the factors we've analyzed, I'd say yes. Remember though, what forms a good deal can vary based on individual circumstances. Factors such as your financial situation, investment goals, risk tolerance, and ability to manage cash flow should all be considered. With that being said, if you have found a property you think will be a good investment based on your initial analysis of all these factors, but you want to dig a little deeper, we do offer a standalone due diligence service. Our thorough investigations have revealed some fascinating situations that aren't necessarily obvious. In fact, David from our team recently did a video where he shares some of our most interesting findings. We're talking about unexpected scenarios like firebombs, swingers, and even disappearing land. I highly recommend you check out David's video to see just how important thorough due diligence can be. If you found this video helpful, remember to leave us a comment and make sure you're subscribed. Otherwise, thanks for watching.